Hello everybody, Princess and Bear here. We're back. This time with a... A lot of sushi. A lot of sushi. So, as you can see here, this buffet before us, we are doing, I guess, a different sort of takeout. Takeout Tuesday. Takeout Tuesday. Uh, this time we're doing sort of like a part two of our sushi mukbang. Yes. Sushi we mukbang too. We went to back to our favorite sushi restaurant. <laughs> Well, I guess we should start with the vegan items. All right. Vegan items that I got are a kimchi roll, a rainbow roll, a chicken tempura roll, the Jacksonville lovers roll, pirate roll, a Miss Lady shrimp roll, and a shrimp tempura roll. Now, I'm not sure which is which here, but I will tell you when we get there. We wish there was like some sort of like label, label. or like on here, but yeah. Let's, uh, let's get in here. You want to start with the smaller rolls or the premium rolls? Let's start with the smaller rolls. Okay. We're still figuring out this count here. It's like... It's a lot of sushi. Well, it's one thing that we have to say to any of our vegan places, plant-based places. If you sell both foods and somebody does takeout, it should 100% always be labeled. Especially nowadays. Because everything Agreed. Look alike. We don't want cross-contamination. No. So this sushi roll that we are starting with has... The shrimp tempura, the chicken tempura. Chicken? I think this is the kimchi roll. Chicken tempura. Alright, let me a little bit. Mmm. Mmm. I would say like that's the chicken tempura, but it's like it's still some chicken. Chicken nugget and sushi. It's very lightly tempura. Mmm. So it's not like, you know, oily. We're super crunchy. I really like that. It's a nice bite. A lot of flavors. You did a good job. This place always does a good job when we're eating sushi and they go above and beyond. Like they're setting the bar high because we honestly won't order sushi from a normal sushi restaurant if your menu has like the basic stuff. If you only have like avocado, cucumber, a sweet potato, and just like a the AAC roll or whatever. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're not, we're not even bothered. Mm -hmm. Not when we have options like this. Exactly. Mm -hmm. I think I'm giving the first roll three out of five claws. The next one, this is the kimchi roll. Mm -hmm. A little spice on it. Mmm. Mmm. Look at the kimchi tart. The spice is like, it's just enough. Yeah. The, the mouth tingling, but not enough to like send you running for the nearest bottle of water. That is so good. I really love kimchi. Mm. Like, I really love kimchi, and I would have never expected to like a kimchi roll. Mm. But yeah, the flavoring is just, I could still just like right here. That's what I love best about sushi and ramen for that matter is that it's, those are things that can cross sort of like cultural food boundaries. So there's That's really. True. No rules on what can be in a sushi roll or ramen. If it tastes good, it works. It's true. I like it. This the spicy kimchi is a four and a half. Like I would oh, order wow. that on my own. All right, this next one is the shrimp tempura vegan yeah. shrimp. This one's a lot more tempura eat. Tempura eat. It's work. got some avocado in it. Dink. Dip. Are you dipping? Mm -hmm. No. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Gosh. Mm. I am all for that crunch. It's really good. It's tasty. And it's not like, usually I'm not a big fan of the alt fishes just because they taste really fishy. Mm. This does not taste very fishy. So it's something that I could eat in excess. It's just like a nice amount of flavor, mm. I think. And the shrimp uh, tempura roll is, a, I think, a 3.5. Okay. Plus. My favorite is definitely the kimchi roll. So far, this is a win. Mm. So this is the next one. I know that the rainbow roll is on here. Mm. The pirate roll is this one with the cornflakes. And then I believe the one with the avocado on top is the lady roll. The tomato? Yeah, that's tomato. <laughs> I'll be honest, the discerning eye, 
I thought it was thinly shaved sh salmon. No, it's definitely tomato. Like, yes, yeah, so this hmm. uh, Miss Lady Roll has um, vegan shrimp, cucumber, mang wait, mango. Oops. I guess I missed the mango. And then it's got avocado and chia seed on top. This with one has a mango in it? Yeah, this one has a mango in it. Okay. I don't want to die. Then the I'm allergic to mango, in case you guys didn't know. The pirate has avocado with um, cucumber, asparagus, and it's got tempeh and cornflakes on top. Nice and crunchy, just like a pirate. Yes. And then the rainbow roll is tempura, spicy tofu, cucumber, tomato, and avocado. You've had this pirate roll before when we've been there. Yes. And it is so unique and different. I love it. I love it just because, like, who puts cornflakes on sushi, you know? And again, like you said, if it worked, there are no rules. Tink. Mm. It falls apart a little bit. As mm -hmm. a princess would do. Mm -hmm. It was so good. It's a five out of five plus for me. No, I haven't really done snaps for food in a long time. Not no, you haven't. That. You haven't had anything Disney-ish to sing about in a long time either. That's true. It's like it's, we've been in quarantine now for like a year. It hasn't really been really long at all. Been we're, so, we're such millennials. It's terrible. All right, so this is the next one. This That's is one the Miss have. Lady Roll. I mean, you could if you take the mango out. Mm, I'll pass. I'm going to attach to this whole breathing thing. We get along. Hmm. It's an interesting combination tasting mango and vegan shrimp together. I would have never put the two. It's got like an interesting flavor to it. Plus like a little bit of a hint of spice. But then the avocado brings it all down and the chia seed brings it together. Like I seriously just tasted four distinctly different things in my mouth and they all married together really well. It feels like, like it's really good. all the combinations, like it'd be very tropical, like very Caribbean. It doesn't, it doesn't have that vibe. No, no vibe? It all just kind of like meshes together and just tastes like a pseudo sweet and spicy shrimp. Okay. It's not bad at all. And now we have the rainbow roll. This baby it looks yeah. packed with flavor. I, I really thought one. that was salmon, but like, yeah, you can tell it's tomato when you look at it closer. Yeah. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh my gosh. I love non vegan rainbow rolls. Obviously, this is very comparable. The, the texture is almost perfect. Now, obviously, the flavor isn't there because tomato is not fish, but the consistency is. Almost perfect. Is that, um, because it just says for a rainbow roll that it's crunchy tempura. Is that what that white stuff is or is it tofu? I think it's tofu covered in tempura, but it's like a little soggy. Okay. Well, it's still good. Mm, very good. Okay. I give that one four out of five claws. Now we come to like all the American stuff. The, like, I can't even call American, but like the, the deep fried clog your artery stuff. First roll without any sauce on it is the Jackson, the Jacksonville vegan lovers roll, the JVL roll. It has sweet potato tempura, avocado, scallions, um, tofu, like cream cheese, deep fried Ooh. with rice outside and topped with a vegan eel sauce and sesame seeds. I guess they forgot the sauce and the seeds, but... Because I see none of that. But I definitely see the tofurti right away. We've had that and made that in several of our dishes. So I'm not on the channel, I think. But tofurti is one of our preferred, like, uh, sour cream, cream cheese brands for cooking. Not so much anymore, since um, Miyoko's, I think that's how you pronounce it, came out. But used to be. I think. Mm-hmm. Feels like Duval. It's better hot. Yeah, it definitely needs the sauce too, I think. Mm-hmm. It's missing the sauce. Because like with the with the sauce and the sesame seeds, it would look like jaguar stripes. 
Oh, that makes sense. Without it, it just looks like a breaded roll. And what's this one? Uh, Isn't that all of mine? Kimchi, rainbow, chicken, JBL, pirate. I think this other one is bears. Might be. This might be my my jaguar roll. Or riverside roll. Try it. It is some sort of meat, but I don't know what it is. That spice is definitely dynamite roll. Next little kick at the end. Not as good as like the spicy kimchi, I'd say. So that's a three and a half out of five plus. We'll just go down the line here. Start cracking them up in bear style. Don't worry, I'm not gonna throw anything today. Mini bear conveyor belt. Oh, this one is like packed full. This is the uh, shrimp. Ah, there we go. This is the, yes, this is the Riverside roll. Shrimp tempura, the cucumbers, and spicy tuna on top, basically. Mmm, tail and all. If you guys should see this look of disgust on the princess's face right now. You can actually get a piece with the spicy tuna on top. It's okay, I usually avoid tempura rolls because the consistency is kind of off for me. The tempura and rice is not always my favorite. I actually like all of the princesses tempura rolls better than mine. That's a two and a half or a five plus. I probably wouldn't order that one again. As for this delicious boy, this is the New Mexico roll, which is jalapeno, fish, and avocado. So I'm excited for this one. Never had anything like this before. It is definitely fresh jalapeno. It burns like fresh jalapeno. I still got that fresh jalapeno crunch. It's been marinated or sitting in oils. It is literally like a sliced jalapeno and it's a big chunk. It's almost bigger than the fish. Interesting. If you love jalapeno, you'll love this. My mouth is like a five out of ten right now. Mm. Ooh. Give that three and a half out of five claws. I would, might order that one again. Here we have. What do you have? I see salmon on salmon on salmon. No? Got a sweet potato. Mmm. I blame Princess for this one. Every time I go to Sushiko now, I have to get a sweet potato roll. I'm addicted. Maybe it's the one quarter Georgian in me. I cannot resist that roll. Mm. Five out of five plus. For this one, this appears to be an eel avocado roll. Mm. Yep, grilled eel and avocado with eel sauce. Slimy yet satisfying. Four to five plus. I love eel. If you put a whole eel in front of me, I would definitely eat the entire thing with no shame. Which I honestly have done before. So for these, so we start getting a bit more unique. For one of these. I believe is my soft shell crab roll. Mmm. Yep. It's a bit easy. It tastes like seawater. With a little bit of spice. Not my favorite. Two out of five claws. For this one, appears we have salmon and crab stick with actually this is asparagus. 
Oh, this is my not on my roll. What was the other one? I think they gave us an extra roll. These roll numbers are not adding up. So there's a mystery roll, and this is the actual one because the asparagus is right there. Hmm. Solid and reliable. Two and a half out of five claws. So far, my favorites are still the sweet potato roll, which is kind of cheating, and then the the kimchi roll was a big surprise. Surprised I like that so much. Mmm, soft shell crab roll. I can't get the fish taste out of my mouth. But then here, this is a delightful looking thing. Appears to be the crazy roll, which is shrimp tempura wrapped with salmon and rice. I mean, the only crazy part about that is the scallions on top, which are super strong. Kind of overpowers the shrimp tempura, but it's not horrible. Two and a half out of five plus. This, I believe, is my lobster roll. Mm. That deep, savory lobster flavor, super tasty. Too much, not too little. That's a four and a half out of five applause. I see that's equal to the kimchi roll. The only time I've ever had lobster in a roll before is at this really unique sushi place where we got a steak and lobster roll. It was called Surf and Turf. Very hearty though, but this one's still better. And this one is. Oh, it's just the same roll, just bigger. Oh. Mm. Definitely four and a half out of five claws. Earned its rating. The Citrus Code never disappoints. I'm glad we were able to support them and get Shivani of food. I have no idea how long it's going to take us to eat all this food, but we're definitely going to give it a try. So we're back. And that's us eating an entire sushi. Bounty? Bounty. Mukbang? Mukbang. Well, it's not a mukbang because we didn't eat it all. We didn't eat everything. We well, we that. will. We will. We don't have that kind of time. It's true. We am trying to say, you know, we'll probably be here for an hour eating all this food. But that is Sushi Co. That is us trying to support a local business during this time of self-isolation because, you know, we are stronger together. Yes. Um, I want to know, have you guys been able to get the foods that you crave during this self-isolation. Sushi is one of my favorite foods, if not the favorite. And if I had to go this entire time without sushi, I don't know what I'd do. I think it's been about a month since it's, he's had sushi, so he's already dying. Get the cravings, get the handshakes. I want to go out to the stream and just gah, all them up. You just want to grab a fish just out of the ocean and just eat it raw. He likes it raw. But I want to know what are your guys' favorite foods? If we like one enough, maybe we'll try to see if we can find something that does vegan, and we'll try that out for our next Takeout Tuesday. Uh, if you have any recommendations or anything else you want us to try, of course, the comments is always the best way to let us know that. Hit the notification bell if you want to see other videos like this, and... We have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. And we will see you soon. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. So let's start. I'm gonna get me a little bit of soy sauce. I'm gonna take my solo dolo. And we are two minutes in the video. The prince has already made a mess. Oops. <laughs> I would just eat this cornflakes all day. They're really good. I am the curious from like a, an art and design aspect how you got cornflakes on a roll you named the pirate. Okay, what are you trying to say about pirates? Maybe it's their booty. 
I don't know. This is the shrimp tempura. There's so many of these that even I can't remember what we got. And I'm mad because on the menu, online menu did not have everything. I missed like a whole two pages of things I could have gorged myself on. Not that we need any more sushi on this table, obviously. But this one is definitely the 